up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please join the channel. Drop the super thanks in the super chats and hit the cash out. We're trying to get as much money coming into the channel as possible because I'm trying to do this full time. The more time, the more money that you're able to give me, the more time I'm able to give you guys making content. And also, um, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's all we got, bro. Let's get into the video. So Derek James, bro, says that Frank Martin and Keyshawn Davis don't make sense. Y'all know we fucks with Derrick James on this channel, man. Y'all know trainer of the year, my trainer of the year the last two years. I gave it to him in, um, not, I think, did I give it to him in 21? We got to go back and check the knockout awards. He definitely won that hole in 2022, though. So, mad respect, mad props to Derrick James. Dallas, Texas, all day, stand the hell up. But he dead ass wrong with this shit, bro. He dead ass wrong with this shit. I'm going to read y'all his comments, and I'm going to let y'all know what I think about this shit. Man. So, Derrick James talking about Keyshawn Davis and Frank Martin. He say, what's the point of that fight? Even for him, why would top rank do that when they're trying to build him up? Say he loses the fight. He's done. They don't want to deal with him anymore. They're going to let him go. They're going to cut him because they did something that you wanted. The promoters have a plan. The promoters are there to build you, develop you, get the right opponents. That's not the right opponent, no matter how bad he wants it. There's no benefit to anybody. Who's going to pay for it? I pay for it. I pay for it, Derek. Yep, sure will. Let me tell you all the things that's wrong with this comment, bro. Let me tell you all the things that's wrong with this shit. Number one. Number one, bro, if a promoter is willing to get rid of you because you lose to Keyshawn Davis or a promoter is getting ready to get rid of you because you lose to Frank Martin, they never believed in you in the first place. See, this is the, the Floyd Mayweather effect. And boxing has turned into one of these things, one of these sports where if you lose, all of a sudden you trash. If you lose, all of a sudden, you hot garbage. So if Keyshawn Davis get in there and lose to Frank Martin, number one, it's a great fight on his resume. Number two, he get number props and respect. He would get more props and respect putting on a tough fight against Frank Martin, giving his all and then losing, than he would beating up another aging-ass person that ain't got no chance in the ring with him. Same with Frank Martin. Frank Martin lose to Keyshawn Davis. He get more respect losing to Keyshawn Davis in a tough, close, competitive fight than he will get beating up on somebody that we know ain't got no shot with him. We got as boxing fans, myself as a boxing analyst, um, boxers, promoters, trainers, we got to get away from talking about that, bro. What's the point of it? The point of it is, if Keyshawn Davis beat Frank Martin, it's the best win on his resume. The point of it is, if Frank Martin beat Keyshawn Davis, that's the best win on his resume. We got to stop acting like we don't know who good, bro. It like people want to use, he only got this many fights, or he's only done this, or he's being moved this way as some sort of excuse on, on like, this person ain't that good, bro. Like, he can't fight. Like, I'm sorry, Keyshawn Davis is, a, is an amateur guru in boxing he went he went to all the big tournaments you know what i mean got silver in a lot of them he's a silver olympic medalist he ain't your average fighter with eight fights so i disagree with that then he said the promoters have a plan the promoters are there to build you as a fighter you there to build yourself as a fighter if i'm paying you and you take money out my check bro you do what i ask you to do it's like boxing done got boxers and, and, and managers and trainers and stuff like 
they don't flip the shit upside down from what it should be. Like, it ain't the promoter's job to build you. It's the promoter's job, in my opinion, to promote you. Like, it's in the title. Like, you're my promoter. You're taking money out of my check to tell everybody that I'm the shit. You're my promoter. You're taking money out of my check to tell everybody that I'm that one and get people to show up to my fight and watch my fight. That's what you're there to do. All right? All this picking my opponents, holding my goddamn hand. Nah, bro, you ain't there for that. And the ones that's allowing that shit, man, y'all, bro, no. No. That's our complaints. As fight fans, we don't want to... I do not want to see Keyshawn fight his next seven fights against dudes that ain't got no shot. I don't want to see Frank Martin after fighting Michelle Rivera fight somebody who ain't got no shot. They bumping, like, and, and, and that's where these trainers, like, Derrick James is doing the same shit that I'm criticizing Calvin Ford for with Frank Martin. I'm criticizing Calvin Ford right now because, hey, but I'm talking with Tank. Tank said he won't this. Tank said he won't that. Why are you saying this other shit that Tank ain't talking about? Frank Martin said, forget marinating. We can bang it out right now. That's what he said, bro. You the same trainer told her, I want what my fighter want. Whatever my fighter want, that's what I want. Well, your fighter said, he ain't got to marinate shit. Let's bang it out right now. So what you, what, what's this other shit you talking about? What's this other shit you talking about, bro? I'm not with that. I can, no, man, no. You going to block us from a potential. You, you trying to tell the people that the fight don't make no sense and that it's not the right opponent. If Frank Martin is not the right opponent for Keyshawn David, then show me shit. If, if he really ain't the right opponent, because Derek talk, he talking about Keyshawn, he's saying that's not the right opponent. Like Frank ain't the right opponent for him. All right. Well, get what? I don't know. I won't see it. I got my suspicions. Shit. I got my takes. I got my opinions on this shit. I know who I think would win. I ain't going to tell y'all. I ain't doing no fantasy fight. But what I'm saying is, Show me, bro. Show me that this dude ain't supposed to be in the ring with your fighter. But more importantly, as a trainer, more importantly, as a trainer, it's your job to do what your fighter want. Other, otherwise, or, or, or be on one accord with your fighter. Otherwise, bro, it's just... It's nothing else. I prefer the tech that Earl Spence took with it. Because Earl Spence was talking about the same thing. And he, he say he prefers Shakur Stevenson fight for Frank Martin. That Keyshawn, he ain't going to get no money fighting Keyshawn. Now, hey, hey, hey now. Hey, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. Because you telling me, nah, fuck that. I want something better. <laughs> I want something that will be bigger. Okay, no problem. No problem. But the tax that J Derrick James took, nah, we ain't we ain't co-signing that. We ain't co-signing that. See, it ain't your promoter's job to develop you. It's your coach's job to develop you. See, boxing, they be getting these roles messed up. He say, and I think Derrick James know this. He say, uh, the promoters have a plan. The promoters are there to build you, to develop you. Nah, bro. Nah, they there to, they there to promote you, say that you the shit. And get people to show up to your fights. The coach is there to develop you into a great fighter. And when he say get the right opponents for you, what that mean? Get people to make you look good that, that's trash, that can't beat you? Like, we pay, we pay money to go to these guys' fights and shit. We pay for subscription. You go get your TV deals because of how many people the TV networks believe you can get to watch your fighters fight. So the right opponent is whoever the fuck the fans say the right opponent is. Real shit. The right opponent for a fighter is the one that the fans say is the right opponent. Because we the ones that pay the bread, bro. All that bread that they getting, all that money that they getting, it all start with fans. All that merch they selling and shit, somebody got to buy it, bro. And until fans realize that shit and start demanding that shit and using their purchasing power, you're going to get comments like this. You're going to get takes like this with your wholeheartedly, unadulterated, just bullshit, bro. Like, don't nobody, ain't nobody buying that, man. Talking about it's not the right time. But you got Keyshawn and you got Frank Martin talking about let's get it cracking right now. 
Whoever your fighter fight as a trainer, you supposed to get him ready. You supposed to believe in him and you supposed to want whatever he say he want. That's how we carrying it over here for everybody. For every, I don't care who you are. That's how we carrying it over here. If you don't like it, then you know what to do, man. But we gonna we gonna speak our peace and we gonna we gonna say what's real, whether you like it or not. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Derrick James don't think it's the right time for Keyshawn Davis and Frank Martin. I disagree, one hundred thousand percent. It's the right time. It's no time like the present. And both of the fighters talking like they want that shit right now. So what, who who are you as a trainer and who are we as fight fans to deny ourselves a potentially great fight? Y'all let me know, man. Comment below. Smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.